Welcome back to the Aces ROG Dream League live here in Hall B, where we just witnessed the winners or losers bracket finals. Uh, we had ourselves a 3-0 in favor of Virtus Pro. Very strong performance. Now, Ninjas in Pajamas, they definitely did put up a fight. We were expecting, or at least a lot of people were expecting Virtus Pro to make it through. The games were a lot more even than that sometimes I was expecting them to. Yeah, definitely. Like, even in that last game, there was a lot of points where you thought, okay, you know, they got the Roshan, they're going to do this, they're, they're grouping them together, they're doing really well, but VP, they just fought so well. They, they really did. I mean, I guess that's the problem when you try and go against a team like VP, is yes. when you're doing the 5v5s, even though the trades seem even, you know, the kills, they were looking good for the side of NRP, but VP, they just seem to know a little bit better what to do with the lead that they were able to gain. Lil on his oh. Rubik. Yeah. Oh my god. It started god. with him killing off the Aquila from uh, the Ring of Aquila from the Shadow Fiend. Yeah. And then he just stole Winter's Curse after Winter's Curse and turned team fights around. At some point there was like a dive or rather um, Spirit Breaker charging up top, going for, uh, I believe what was Era, oh, not actually Era, going oh. for, for Limp, but they, they actually, like he got away because he stole the yeah. sprint, he stole the crush. I uh, know he still died actually in he the died end. Right but at it, the end with it, a it took a long time before yeah. he actually uh, got killed off. It was really fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, it just felt that every player on the side of VP was playing to their best at the end of the game. It was a little bit messy, you know. You can't deny that VP, they made a few mistakes along the way, and, you know, NRP, they were quick to jump on it. NRP, you know, I think that's probably the best we've seen NRP look through the whole tournament. They yeah. really yeah. did give VP, uh, VP a really good fight, but I think just the individual players, Phobos, as you were mentioning, every fight, he was just being, he was so annoying for NRP. Yeah. Suddenly, double kill to the Spirit Breaker, and then I'd be like, okay, we've just lost two heroes to a Space Cow, and then they found themselves at the back of the fight as Jara came in, cleaned up, and, and Jara was just able to carry a little bit more superiorly in the, uh, in the end of the day at the late game. Yeah, and uh, we also saw a hero that we haven't seen in a long time, uh, Race King, played as support by FNG, and we actually have to talk, uh, the chance to talk to FNG right now, because he, he's here in the studio for a winner's interview. Hello, FNG. Welcome. Привет. 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 Yes. Congratulations on your series. Спасибо. <laughs> I know that one too. Как дела? Хорошо. Давай. Давай. Вот, давай. What is it? Вот, давай. Just go. He just no. got it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's do it. You can hold the microphone like a rapper, by the way, so that everybody can like, hear like you this. properly. Just like, yeah, and then close to your mouth. Like, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how comfortable that is. Um, we just saw an amazing game for you guys. And I, I want to know, when Lil killed the, the Ring of Akulaf, the Shadow Fiend, how does that go on your, on your communication and your team? Does, does he go mental or is it just, okay guys, you know, I just killed the Ring of Akulaf, nothing new, do this all the time. How does it go? It was like, guys, I killed the Aquila. Okay, you leave now? Yes, I leave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Of course, there was some bad, bad words on Russian, but I can say it. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, FNG, one thing I want to ask you about. We don't see it a lot nowadays. You guys picked it up, and it worked incredibly well. What made that the game for the Wraith King pick? Mm, I think we want to pick two cores that can hit and lay steal from Wraith King, and that's why we picked it so and we don't want to show our core position. Hmm. So that's why we picked it. Yeah, I mean, it obviously worked out really, really well. Ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah? I don't talk to him. Oh, you don't no. talk? Oh, Shane, you may oh, want come, come on. I have one question. <laughs> Make an exception, just for me, FNG, <laughs> okay. Ghana. I, right. I know it's hard talking to the goblin, but... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow. You hear this? I have to work with this every day. It's awful. Okay. All right. So yesterday you played Navi. Did you, did you learn an, enough from the games yesterday to go into today feeling confident? I think there was nothing special in the yesterday game, same as today, we're just fighting in each other, <laughs> who won't fight, uh, they won game, nothing special. So I think we just will try to win fights. Cool. Now, uh, there were a lot of fights uh, in this game as well, and we actually have selected one uh, for you to join us in uh, Shane Analytics on the drawing board. Welcome to the drawing board. 
and FNG is going to talk me through exactly what's going on in this team fight here. Let's have a look. All right, so we're 33 minutes in. Do you remember what was happening right here? Air blinks forward. They have ages. Yes. So did, what, did you say, like, go back, or do we fight here? We, like... No, usually in these fights, you just say, guys, regroup, take positions, and I'm risking, I'm going in. And somehow he didn't use his BKB, I stunned him, I didn't use the cooldown, and uh, uh, Sardar dodged... Uh, I mean, uh, Giram dodged uh, Sardar stun. Yeah. And uh, the ulti of Vivian, it's not good, because it's safe ulti. You need to use this ulti on attack or on regroup and Era uh, jump into our ulti and that's why we won the fight. This rocket as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Cancelling the... When, when he respawns, the rocket from Illidan destroy, like, cancels the, the Shadow Fiend ulti like, just for the last second. Yeah, I think Lil won this, this yeah, fight he's, he's for a us beast pretty much. Fight. And there is easy, there is no BKB, just use your buttons and you won. <laughs> All right. Look at this professional player. Oh my god. F how how to draw something? Okay, it broke. When they were when they were driving it down, it broke. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> I, That's so sad. It's very sad. I can try to draw, but it's like... No, it doesn't work. It was really sad, actually. Production value. So, uh, we just had the lower bracket finals. We can actually take a look at the brackets and see how they're shaping up. Though, I think it comes to no one's surprise that now all of a sudden we see Virtus Pro in the Grand Finals together with Na'Vi, of course. Uh, it was the same matchup yesterday, which was a really fun matchup to watch as well, so I'm really looking forward to this best of five. Before we let you go, do you want to say anything to your fans? plug in shout-outs? No. no. <laughs> you just want to go get a break? Yes, I want to go to rest, to take a rest. Well, we're going to allow that. Uh, we'll, we will be back, uh, and we're going to be back at 1800, which is in 25 minutes from now with a pre-show for the Grand Final. So we'll hope to see you then for Navi versus Virtus.pro. Yeah. <laughs>